and it's a very good morning from St. Juliana Albans I'm staying at beautiful place and today is a special day it is uh, Mount Pinatubo climbing day yeah I'm finally doing as long as the weather gods are on our side uh, we'll get up to the top and we'll get into the crater hopefully wow I've been looking forward to this so 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 much and I'm gonna take you guys with me on the ride it's a pretty sort of longish sort of ride it's about an hour four by four then it's a two hour hike but anyway I'm sure you'll enjoy it I'm gonna love it it the scenery is fantastic and uh, this is gonna be a real adventure now this will be great I've got to have my brekkie first I've got a coffee here I'm gonna have some uh, some eggs and some ham and some bread and look I like uh, I like traveling I like uh, uh, you know going on hikes and going on adventures with uh, with light food I don't want to take too much I don't have time too much too much time to eat I just want to you know just get into it and have a good time but anyway uh, the brekkie is here I'm gonna get into it and uh, let's have a look it's yes it's oh yes and there's some fruit there uh, cucumber yeah I don't mind cucumber it's, it's pretty nice anyway let's get into it let's get our food into us and yeah it's just a bit after five o'clock so it is a, a, a pretty early sort of morning. I hope the sleep's out of my eyes. But let's um, tuck into some food and get into the day. Wow, you gotta be happy with that. That is fine. Oh, even tomato there. Yeah, yummy. Okay, the brekkie's in there. We're all fueled up for the day. And here's one of the four by fours. We have got three four by fours, so I'm not alone today, which is nice. Uh, we have a group of American uh, people here, young and fit, look at them, yeah. But yeah, I'm old and fit, but that doesn't matter. Uh, so I'll be able to keep up with them. So yeah, just waiting for uh, uh, two four by fours to come down to pick us up and then we're off and racing. So yeah, it's all gonna be good, the sun's up. Uh, even though we've got a lot of clouds in the sky, it's not going to worry us. Actually, it's better to have cloud in the sky. A bit of uh, protection from the sun. And the weather gods uh, that I've been praying all night to, you know, be kind to us today, they're out and they're about. Even though the weather's not looking fantastic, there's no sign of rain. The park is open. Uh, Pinatubo is open. So there's, there's no reason why we can't get there today. Fingers crossed. All right. Uh, we're going to get into it soon. And, uh, yep. I'm getting uh, getting a few things on me. That's why I'm just why I'm jumping around. I don't know if they're mozzies or sandflies or whatever they are, but they they sort of just land on you. They don't bite you, but uh, they're just a bit annoying. That's all. Uh, all right, thank you. All right, we are off and racing. Here's my group. I'll see you guys up there. Yeah. Okay. All right. Have Thanks, fun. Alvin. All right. Yeah. All right. We're going yeah. on this one. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to go on the Oh, front. oh front, yeah, 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 get the front, yeah. Uh, We're gonna get the front. The, the one, the tourism staff or the regiment? That is huh? regiment. Regiment to get in. Oh, okay, he gave the front? Yes. Okay, all right, I'm good. Just okay. tell me where to go. All right. We're up. <laughs> you want to see the front or? No, okay. uh, the ranger man. Regiment. Yeah. yeah. Okay, what? <laughs> all right, there's Ed. There's a dong. We've got our paperwork, we've got our paperwork done. Sign the waiver. Yep. Right. <laughs> oh, what was that? <laughs> so we are all all ready to go. We just got the hood up for some reason. Let's hope there's no uh, technical issues here with our 4x4, four four. otherwise it's a long walk back out. There's always uncertainty in these trips, always. But that's what makes it a little bit more exciting. Uh, gotta love uh, Dong in the pink shirt. Uh, met him a couple of days ago when I, when I came up and tried to get into the park. But I'll tell you what, uh, there's a, a, a few little uh, hurdles had to jump over and hoops to jump through so I wasn't allowed to but I've all worked it out with the help of uh, Dong and Leslie the uh, tourism people uh, I'm on I'm finally on the 4x4 and I'm ready to take off I'm not sure what I'm waiting for but it doesn't matter 
we've got plenty of time. It's uh, 6 a.m. and the day has just begun. Yeah. We are off and racing, and uh, we've got a full, full group here. Well, these guys are our guides, and we've got our driver here. And we're on our 4x4. Four four. And I just put the camera away because we're coming up to the checkpoint. So I just put it down. I'll show you my shoe while we're going through the checkpoint. Uh, the shoes, the socks, and everything's cool, hopefully. Got the paperwork, which they're showing. Okay, and it's all good. And we're through, we're through the checkpoint. Yeah, so now we're through the checkpoint. It's probably off to the river, I think. But in the 4x4, and I thought they were enclosed. This is open. And look how open it is. And with open 4x4s, you know what you can do? You can stand up and get a better view. So this is fantastic. This is one hell of an adventure. Oh, this is this is great. Oh, I'm loving this already. And we're just only a couple of minutes into it. And there's bikes already in there. Uh, we came down here with the ATVs last time. And I've got to hang on because I know what we're up for. Here comes the Lahia River. I've got to actually put down. There's more guards here. Are, uh, are funny but I don't want to film them because I won't be able to post these videos but uh, this is it this is where we're doing ATV riding and I'm gonna sit down now because there's a first river crossing coming and I'm gonna sit down because I might don't want to get thrown out This is bumpy already, but I know I know this because I've come across here and I'm actually going to get on my feet a little bit. Uh, it's a better, better suspension, uh, your legs instead of your bottom. Oh. <laughs> I nearly got wet all the way up here. <laughs> It's our turn. Our turn to get through the first, through the first river, river cross or second river crossing. Here we go. Oh, and no problem. Yeah, no problem. All right. Look at this little uh, dip here. So I'm going to have to hang on for this one. I'll take it nice and slow. Going to be a fun a fun job riding through here as a tour. I don't think these are I suppose they are tour tour guides with their passengers on the back on, on bikes. But uh, this, is, this is great. Look at these mountains out there. Wow. And we've got our support, our support crew. He's got the biggest smile on his face, just like I have. Oh. Uh, 
Oh, that was funny. Uh, he, he sort of become airborne. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he nearly lost it. <laughs> right, we come out to the next section of the river where the, the Lahir is just wiped out in the floods uh, when the volcano erupted. And this, uh, there can be deep areas in here. Uh, so this is vast. It's a, a narrower part of the of the river system. And look at those walls over there. I think I showed you those when I was ATV riding the other day. <laughs> but this is a lot of fun, and it's not going to be as taxing on the body because. Well, I'm just standing most of the way, hanging on. I've got a nice comfy seat to sit on. But, you know, I feel this is just the uh, easy part because I think we go over lots of rocks, rocky areas and that on our way to the, the foot of the mountain or the volcano. But yeah, this is just wonderful. It's good to be alive. It's good to be in the Philippines. Yeah, that was, a, that was a bit of a deep one, that one, that one there. Actually, I do remember this the other day, coming here, crossing this part. It's, it's not too bad. Looks like we still got extra support crew back here. <laughs> really not sure if they're with us, or they're hanging around us, or they're coming on the on the ride on the walk. I'm not sure. We'll find out later. But just check this out. We're getting further and further into the mountainous areas. The mountains are sort of closing in. Uh, water buffalo just hanging in the river <laughs> it's just like uh, out of a out of the Indiana Jones movie or something this where we're tearing through the volcanic wasteland bikes four by fours yeah this is great adventure that's what it's all about at my age, you've got to get as much as you can in before you get a bit too sort of uh, old and frail. I shouldn't be talking about old and frail, but uh, yeah, just keep fit and you can keep doing stuff like this uh, well into your 60s, 70s, maybe not 80s, but uh, certainly I'd like to be doing this in 10 years time or 20 years time. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> We're going this way, so there's something happening over here. I'm not too sure what. There's a group of people, and even over the other side, there's a group of people of, of that river. Not sure, some sort of gathering. But that little river bank, that is huge. That's, uh, oh. 15 metres, probably 20 metres high, that bank. Gee, that Lahir must have roared through here carving that out. So this is where the, the river sort of narrows, even though it's still very, very wide. It sort of narrows here. And the walls are really steep and they're really, really high and they look really unstable. You can see there's collapsed areas all along here. So you don't want to go too close to there. Uh, we don't intend to, we've got a nice, nice track here. And actually over there, if, uh, the river bank is even higher. It's probably three times as high as the one here. Man, this is so beautiful. Maganda. So Maganda. 
Yeah. Maganda, Maganda, Maganda. Beautiful, it's just beautiful. All right. Alright. So we've the right angle on this. Cleared that one, that was no problem. Yeah, these uh, short wheelbase uh, 4x4s just get about going anywhere. As long as it's not too deep. But I'm right, I'm up high, so even if we do go deep, I'm not going to drown because I'm up really high. Alright, now just check this out. Herd of cows, quite a lot of them. <laughs> yeah, they sort of um, I thought they'd be in the, the greener, lusher areas of the river systems, but they just seem to like congregate in the middle. And I mean, they're feeding on something, but you there's not much vegetation right down here in the middle of the river, it's bizarre. I mean, even the other day, ATV riding, they were sitting in the water. And I tell you what, the water is warm up here. The, the dark sand heats the water up. And it's, uh, oh, well, it's like, uh, I reckon it's in the, the 30 something degrees, mate, 35 degrees from this water. And it's not thermal, it's just, uh, just runoff that's going down the streams, but it's black sand and it's uh, really, uh, really traps the heat, well actually, uh, release the heat into the into the water and wow it's really uh, starting to get hilly here and we're stopping just gonna get down here let's five minutes oh it's a five minute stop a five minute stop for photos and uh, I may not stop for photos, I'll let the uh, American people stop for their photos. I'm just going to keep videoing. Look, I have been told you've really got to take the guides uh, really seriously when they sort of ring the alert bell or say, you know, get somewhere because even though this is a riverbed, it's caused by the lahirs coming out of the volcano and wiping out the area. But apparently up further in the hill areas, a lot of water can accumulate behind uh, debris and, and branches and, and rocks and stuff like that. And it can build up like a dam. And you can get a bit of rain in the night time that comes in and it fills up those pools even more and more and more. And then all of a sudden it, it just breaks. And you don't know how much water is in these pools. It might just take, uh, it could be, you know, millions of litres of water in these little big pools and that. And all of a sudden, it's just enough water to, to push through it and break it. And it comes flowing down in a really big, uh, a big wall of water. And it's, it's a really nasty wall of water, it, you know. So I do know that that sort of stuff exists around here. And you don't get much warning. And I know a few years ago I was told that uh, eight tourists uh, lost, lost their lives when that very thing happened uh, when they're up in Pinatubo. So you've got to be mindful of, of where you are and also where you're going. So I just had a, a quick chat to, to the guys, the guides here, and we, I thought there was just there was mountains and that, but actually this is lava flow that sort of dried up all the way along here. So this was all flat before Pinatubo exploded in 91. And uh, I think they're normal hills, but yeah, these particular ones, yeah, they're lava, lava flows. And this is where the Lahir come down. But yeah, that's amazing over there. They're really, really high. Oh. Uh, probably 50 meters high from this distance. Yeah, it's so vast here. Things are on a scale, unimaginable scale. And I'm talking to one of the guys who was 22 when Pinatuba blew up and uh, yeah he said it was scary 
really scary ash everywhere um, a lot of devastation yeah but yeah that's really fascinating stuff yeah the rivers are still flying pretty well here nothing too dangerous but always flying out of the mountain area and the question is how deep are these areas but this looks pretty good Gotta give it when you're in this stuff. Make sure you don't get bogged. Right. <laughs> There's a deep one coming up. And our turn. No problemo! And here we go, we're up the centre of the river. Whoa, big rock there. This is so much fun. Crazy stuff. Oh, I'd never come here in a four-wheel drive myself or with a mate. This is just an incredibly uh, oh, rocky, bumpy, a little bit dangerous, but we're getting there. It's deeper. Oh, I'm airborne. Rap rapids here. That means there's rocks. Rapids. Uh, some nice rocks in there. Just cross that one. Yeah, look at this hill here. Something made of lava. Gives you an idea. And it's a little one. Yeah, it was a bit more challenging. Okay. And look at this. Wow, it's so high, these hills. These lava hills. And then uh, over the years, they've been carved out by the rains in the last 30 years. Yes, uh, they were formed back in 91, I presume, from when the volcano erupted. And ever since there, all oh, that time, the river's been sort of carved out with the various rain that's come down, the flooding that's come down and it's left these lava hills. It's got a lot of vegetation on now. But these are steep as like that is just a, a drop off. No, just a drop off. 30 meters at least. you come into these areas when uh, like early in the morning and that you've got a long way to travel to, to get to the foot of the, the volcano and you don't want people you know coming in you know, 9 10 11 o'clock starting their journey and getting in there uh, especially people that aren't sort of uh, fit and yeah you know, when they get on their walk yeah and they have trouble in that uh, jeopardizes the party you don't want to be in here at night and you certainly don't want to be here uh, when there's thunderstorms and rain and I tell you what the last few days there's been some really really heavy rain and I know yesterday I talked to a group that uh, did the trek to the volcano 
and they said it, it poured down on their way home. They were lucky uh, to get out of the area. Not that it was dangerous, but potentially it was dangerous. Uh, and they were allowed up because the, you know, the skies were fine, but all of a sudden in the uh, you know, midday, it sort of just came, came down and the water level rose a little bit. But yeah, they had a great experience and they were totally exhausted. Ah, this, but not today. Mind you, you can see in the distance, the sky is not clear. So yeah, there is a good chance that it's rain. I haven't looked at the forecast. Don't worry about that. I'll leave it up to the experts to say whether it's safe or not. So it's all good. It's all happy, but I wouldn't mind a bit more water and the rivers to be a bit more deeper, but not too deep that we get stranded up here. Because that can be pretty scary. Mind you, uh, the guys know what they're doing. They'll probably some, send some support vehicles up if it wasn't too dangerous to retrieve us. But again, uh, you are in you know, the disposal of mother nature and she can be very cruel at times. So she's got to be respected and you've got to take all the precautions to you know, keep safe. As the sun comes up over the hills, popped out of the clouds, it is a nice day to be out on my way to Mount Pinatubo. Uh, this looks pretty interesting. Uh, nearly a little drop off. I'm gonna have to brace myself. Brace, brace, brace. Oh, We're stuck on the hill. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good. I'm bracing. Ah, this is great. Yeah, no problem. It's actually better on your, better on your feet. Yeah, you can absorb the bumps a lot more as long as you hang on, which I'm hanging on. But now it's getting rocky. It's getting, uh, getting a lot wilder now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is getting crazy now. I thought it was crazy before, but now it's getting really crazy. to say I'm really gobsmacked uh, not by how beautiful the area is but how vast and how far we're actually going in to get to the volcano here's another valley it is massive it's high it's ah oh, it's got to be 60 meters high maybe 70 meters that that peak there these are really high but this is a really really uh, steep valley a narrow one it's uh and it just goes for oh, a few kilometers it's, it's wild and we're still we're not even near the volcano I don't think because I can't see the volcano or any of the peaks of the volcano it's still going up 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 and up oh wow I'm I'm astounded it's hard to, hard to explain without actually being here the experience that I'm, I've got as a bug flies past my head yeah some of the bugs are pretty big here And it looks like there's uh, some collapsed areas there of the mountain. So, I mean, they could come down at any time. And, and certainly in rain, this would not be a great place to be in because this area would fill up. Uh, it's prone to landslides, uh, you know, slippage, and, you know, dam, little dam, natural dam busts and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's, it's uh, full of danger. <laughs> and that's what we like, danger. Makes things exciting. Look at that. We've uh, got a little obstacle here. This is significant. This has been eroded away recently. It's a good sized hole that we've got to go down. Let's see if I can get it. Check that out. Yeah. 
the first four wheel drive. Whoa. Actually, I'm going to go the other side, I think. Whoa. This could give away at any time. Especially this part. Look at this. Wow. That is, that is really a bit dangerous. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we're good. Yeah, that was, that was nearly impossible without filling it in with rocks. And that's probably what they do when they find uh, a lot of erosion like that in the, in the, in the track. They're ready for anything, these guys, I'm sure. Because they, they didn't hesitate. They go, oh yeah, we'll go across that, no problem. Even though, well, I nearly, I didn't nearly fall out, but I'd say one hell of a jolt. And as you can probably see on the camera, it was a great job. But anyway, we live to video another clip. So I'll get back on my feet. On, on a knee at the moment. I'm actually finding this position not too bad. And I'm hanging on pretty tight. <laughs> wait for these guys, make sure they get through safely. I mean, you can understand uh, any more rain or water down here. And this would be impossible. And it wouldn't take a lot of rain, I don't think. Oh, a bit of mud here. But the 4 by 4s no problem. But yeah, um, I'm actually pretty lucky that, you know, the heaven didn't open up last night. I was laying there in bed going, oh, don't rain, don't rain. The only thing that can stuff my trip up is, uh, is the rain. But wow, I'm pretty happy. a little bit sort of dangerous there's a fair bit of water uh, flying down this river oh, oh, airborne literally my both feet just you know jumped up then but hanging on uh, for my life at times and we're actually getting close to the drop-off point so it'll be on foot pretty soon Wow. Yeah, I was going to say uh, a journey and adventure like this. I can't, I can't do it in one video. I'll have to break this up a little bit. I don't know how. Maybe two or three videos of this journey. I don't want to rush it because it, so many things to see, so many things to to show you. I'm just glad you're coming along, and I'm glad that I have the opportunity to show you this beautiful place that I'm in. Yeah, and Mount Pinatubo. Oh. Okay. Getting there.